सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट प्रोसीड्यूरल वर्क सिस्टम इन यूनिटी एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन इम्प्लीमेंट दिस सिस्टम एंड आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू थैंक एवरी वन फॉर हेल्पिंग मी टिल नाउ एज यू कैन सी वी हैव रीच आवर फर्स्ट हंड्रेड सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड आई होप वी रीच आवर थाउजेंड प्रिटी सोन आई विल कीप ऑन अपलोडिंग वेरी यूनिक कंटेंट्स लाइक दिस एंड as you can see here we have a plain model just a temporary rugged up model made in blender just to showcase as you can see i just move the character it will automatically move its legs left right even the rotations also it can also adjust itself according to the height and legs will stay in the position in the ground you can see here and we are going to see how we can implement this system Let's not waste much time. Let's get started. Before we get started writing our code in C sharp, first let us see how we have implemented the scene area. First we have got our robot game model which I will provide you in link, and we also need to import a package known as animation rigging package. You can do that by going to Windows Package Manager and then select Unity Registry and then. search for animation rigging and you will get this thing and just import it here then after that select your game model which you imported then go to animation rigging tab here do bone render setup and also the rig setup by clicking it you will get these two components here rig builder and bone renderer and after that you will be seeing blue lines which will be showing your bones in your game model then after that go to your rig which will be automatically made here this part and inside that add two empty game objects known as left leg and the right leg and in right leg go to add component and then just add two bone ik constraint here you can just type two see two bone ik constraint add and then just lock your screen here take your left leg bottom one like this one as shown here and drag it into the tip part and then just do the three dots here auto setup from tip transform this will automatically do your setup then after that do your setups like this and then as you can see i have moved my target to this position and this target to this position and uh, after adding the two bone ik constraint your rig or this uh, game object will be in the zero position of this world just go to after unlocking this do three clicks here and just reset it and you will get this thing here and after getting this components here we will see how the code works okay so this target is the thing that that will move our legs okay this is the main thing the leg will follow this thing so in this we have we are going to add a script named foot solver which we are going to write okay just do new script and foot solver i have already written the script here so let's see what's inside this script so first of all we have our terrain layer and our foot system reference to the other foot okay and this thing here this will uh, refer to the another foot okay and we have our few float variables which which is the step distance and step height up to which height the leg will move, go up step length up to which length the leg will move forward backward and uh, foot spacing here and also the speed at which the move at which the leg will move from one position to one position at what rate and next we have our reference to the main parent body transform here and then a foot offset which will help us to adjust the minute positions of our foot and then we have a private variable vector 3s which is old position new position and current position same for normals old normal current normal new normal and a float variable name as lerp which will help us to calculate the amount or the whether we have to reach or we have reached the position or not from this to this position okay if uh, lerp is equal to 1 which means move we can move if lerp is less than 1 if it is less than 1 we can't move it Okay, this is the thing here, and then we have our okay, 
we have our foot at the start we will just initialize the initial values like foot spacing is equal to transform dot local position dot right and old position equal to new position equal to current position we are setting it to the legs current legs position in this world which is transform dot position and same for old normal current normal new normal equal to transform dot up these are just the initial values and lerp is equal to one so that at starting the legs can move as we saw here if lerp is less than one we can't move if lerp is one we can move or greater than one also so next we will move to the update part first we are in update we are setting our transform dot position to our current position which is initially which is initially our transform dot position okay so transform dot position equal to current position and we are also setting its transform dot up to current normal which will always point toward upward for now and its position will be right here so we are going to th throw a ray suppose this is the body and this is the leg so its center of mass will be here so from this we are going to throw a ray to ground and at a distance and this is the front view of this is the leg here so we are going to from the body at this position we are going to throw so this is the foot spacing and this is the body position and this is the ray which is in downward direction as you can see vector 3 dot down this is the ray we are throwing here and next we are checking if physics dot ray cast which is going to throw a ray and check whether it hits or not and we are going to throw this ray here as you can see this ray we got here which is from the body and downward and if it's hit something like if, if it's hits this point this uh, position value will be stored in a hit named variable as you can see here and the distance will be max of 10 units and the layer value it is it is going to sense for ground area we are going to set this in our inspector okay uh, the terrain which we are using we have to set its layer as ground next we are going to check if its distance if the distance between new position and hit dot points initially new position is the original one okay and our body is moving suppose uh, this is the leg here and uh, this is the robot it is from side view okay and this is the other leg on another side suppose if our body is moving leg will be stuck there only and it will always just keep on constantly throwing for rays checking and this will be the new position form so if the distance is greater than the moving distance or the step distance and the other foot means the reference to the other foot we have got up, in, up there in our screen as you can see as you can see here reference to the other foot here and if and if the other foot is moving not it's not here okay if the other foot is not moving we have written a function named is moving and downwards i will show you it is just going to tell us that if the other foot is moving or not we are going to move the first foot only if the other foot is, is still otherwise it would look a little weird like both the feet will move at once so just we are going to check if the other foot is not moving also and the distance is also greater than the step distance and lerp is greater than one see this only i was speaking if it's greater than one or equal to one we will move otherwise we won't move and we are going to set the lerp to zero so that it can't uh, move every frame until and unless uh, it's again back to one okay so it will just set into the motion of this leg position suppose the leg is here and the body is moved here so it will just set the mo motion for this leg uh, from here to here so we are also calculating the direction in which the leg will move either forward or backward so we just can't tell we have to move leg forward or backward if we are moving backward and leg is moving forward it would look little weird so that's why we are doing this here for the direction here this body dot inverse transform point will just return the point from world space to body's local space okay so suppose in world space is like 230 and in body space will be like two position this only thing we are getting by using body's inverse transform point and we are getting it z and we are comparing 
if the hit dot points is greater than new positions dot z means original position of the leg was here and the hit point is this means z position is greater than this one which will be positive and this will be in backward this is the leg okay so we are moving forward actually if hit point is little forward than the leg then we are moving forward so that's why we are setting its value to 1 otherwise we are setting its value to minus 1 the direction is minus 1 which means if our leg is here and the hit point is in a backward side means we are moving backward so its value of direction is minus 1 next we are setting the new position to head dot point plus body dot forward into step length into direction plus foot offset so new position we are always we are calculating the new position and we are setting it to head dot points plus body dot forward into step length which is the distance here into direction see this is the thing that's why we are doing one minus one if its direction is one it will be in forward direction if the direction is minus one we are one multiplying minus vector will be in backward direction we, it, the next direction of, of new position will be in backward side and plus foot offset just for reference and, uh, and for just little left right movements for adjustment and we are also setting the new normal to head dot normal here next we are going to see now th this, uh, these were just for the conditions to be met for uh, leg to start moving leg to start moving so now if the leg has started moving see uh, we set at above lerp to zero once it has uh, fulfilled all the criteria so now after that it will go to this part so first we are going to check if lerp is less than 1 which which means our leg can move lerp is less than 1 which means we can move it so first we are uh, creating a new vector 3 variable which is storing the temporary position and temporary position will be lerping from its old position to new position suppose this is the leg here and body has moved here and new position is somewhere here and this is the old and this is the new so we just want to lerp it from here to here so that's why this is the thing we are doing it here we are storing its value vector 3 dot lerp from old position old position to new position this to this and at the rate of lerp and we are also setting its y position this line will just move in a horizontal way we want in an arc like motion so arc like motion can be achieved by using a sine function and sine function we are just cons constantly adding mathf dot sine lerp into mathf dot pi into step height step height will be the amount of height it will reach if step height is low it will go like this if step height is high it will go much higher next we are going to see for current position we are setting current position to temporary position and then current normal same uh, as we did in the lerp current normal will be lerping from old normal to new normal suppose this is the ground and uh, hit dot point has reached uh, some uh, hilly area like this its normal will be pointing upward so we just want the leg to go from this to this and this will be slowly done by using the uh, lerp function here and we are also constantly updating the lerp by adding it time dot delta time at the and into speed at which the lerp will keep on increasing and once the lerp which is greater than one it will stop moving and then again we will check for conditions if it's the if its distance is greater than step distance and all like we did before so if uh, both the criteria are also wrong which means we are just constantly updating old position to new position that's all and uh, is moving function which we implemented before is this one which is all only going to return if lerp is greater than one if lerp is greater than one which means it's moving it's, it will return true else it will return false and this is the script here this is the script here you can see it again and uh, now 
let's go back to our uh, scene area just select the terrain go to layer add layer and then just type ground here and again select the your terrain go to layer and select ground and then at starting we had this left leg target and right leg target which was created for us from two leg IK constraint just go to there and set your terrain layer to ground in both okay and for right leg drag and drop your left leg target here and for left leg drag and drop your right leg target and for parent just go to this part robot and drag it here into here and then just mess with the values you want and uh, that's all by using this you can just implement this thing here and then if you click play you can see if i move the character it will move see and uh, this video was mainly intended to explain the coding part and next video will be coming on animation rigging about all the constraints present in that and from that i hope everything will be you will like you will be able to understand everything and uh, that's all for today's video hope this was helpful and the code will be give link will be given in the description and i will try to upload the project also so as you can you will be able to see how i have implemented the systems here and thanks for watching any suggestions are really appreciated and if you want any tutorial on other videos please comment it in the comment section and if you have any questions ask me freely thank you for watching and thanks again for 100 subs hope you have a great day bye